Welcome back to Ty Kicks for another video and it's December, it's Christmas and have I got a treat for you. This package arrived in the post this week from Social Status all the way in the USA and we've got something rather limited for you guys to see. Let's get into the box. This shoe dropped a couple of weeks ago, something that you either caught and was absolutely in love with or you totally missed this and this is what i'm here for here to show you what you missed a couple of weeks back so social status have done some adidas collaborations in the past they've done some ones with adidas in terms of the ultra boost line and they've done some now with the 4d line and it wouldn't be any old 4D. It's gotta be a really, really cool collaboration and a limited edition. And that's exactly what these are. So let's get inside the box. I would say from purchase to receiving through the method that I did, it's taken about a week and a half, two weeks. So not too bad, longer than it could be, but the taxes on this particular shoe coming into the UK were massive. I know a lot of people that tried to get this shoe. Some took the L and others got the W, but the biggest L of it all is that shipping anything at a certain price point, it really, really gets hit with those import charges. Luckily for me, and I'm gonna shout out my good friend, Kevin, he sorted me out with this and he shipped these over separately and I managed to avoid a little bit of that pain at Christmas. I have opened these up. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I haven't. I was far too excited to not have a chance to get these in hand. You may have seen some of the images on my social media accounts on Instagram. It's at ty underscore kix if you are following me on Instagram. And if you do like the video and this type of content that I do, please hit the like button and subscribe to Thai Kicks. So let's get inside here. Now, there's one kind of disappointing element to this that I'm about to show you, which I would have hoped would have been a little bit more in the spirit of collaboration. This is a black Adidas 4D box, something that I have had with numerous other 4Ds that I've purchased. So nothing really particularly special there. Was quite gutted about that. I really hoped that they would have done something to kind of fit with the actual shoe itself to make this box rather more interesting. So unfortunately for the price, it's just a basic Adidas 4D box. But on the label, it says Ultra 4D SS, and I picked these up in a UK 10, US 10.5. The colorway on the box says green, brown, orange, and um, yeah, kind of, kind of accurate. And here they are. These are the Adidas Ultra 4D Social Status Renaissance Pair, and they are inspired by the Mona Lisa. Yes, you heard me right. Inspired by sort of art and artworks of the time of the Renaissance and particularly Mona Lisa. The colorway in general is a very autonomous kind of autumn colorway. You know, you've got your olive greens, you've got your orange tan, uh, you've got sort of almost like a burnt red kind of color as well at the back. And you've got on the heel counter, the Ultra 4D branding, which is pretty awesome. Now, this is, funnily enough, not my first pair of Ultra 4Ds. I did pick up a pair of the Parlay Ultra 4Ds in black, but I never really got around to reviewing them. So maybe if you want one, I'll do one. But as it stands at the moment, these are, <laughs> these are by far the coolest pair of Ultra 4Ds I've seen so far. We have just had the green tea pack come out from uh, SNS, but come on SNS, 
show me some love. I genuinely, no word of a lie, have not won a raffle with SNS for about five years. And I do buy GRs from SNS, so I never expected to pick those up. If you did, congratulations on taking the W. Really nice pair, but in all honesty, I prefer these. Now, they only made 3,020 pairs of this particular shoe, and it says it on the actual tongue area. So it says social status in gold with one of 3,020 pairs. On the right shoe and on the left shoe, it says the Adidas logo, performance branding logo. You've basically got kind of like a it's almost like a greeny gray pair of laces on this, but they do come with a burnt kind of red color extra pair of laces, which to be totally honest, I think probably does go quite nicely. We'll see, we'll see how they look in the shoe when I get round to it. But as it stands at the moment, we're gonna keep the OG laces in. We've got the aero green or ash green 4D on the undersole. now. It's very similar to uh, the more recent pairs of 4Ds in terms of the structure of that undersole. They don't feel crazy heavy, um, and I definitely think there's been an improvement in 4D overall in terms of its weight, but still not as light as I'd like them to be. So let's quickly go over the upper and have a look at some of the particular features of this shoe. As you can see on the top of the shoe, it is the 1.0 Ultra Boost Prime Knit design. And you've got this really, really nice olive green colorway all the way around the toe box. And you've got woven into that, that pattern in a kind of tan orange color. It's really, really nice. And it kind of fits really well into the undersole, which is a gum undersole, which I'll go over a little bit later. Moving back into the cage area. So bearing in mind, the majority of the upper is very much modeled on the original Ultra Boost. And the original Ultra Boost had a cage that was made out of plastic. Now, this one doesn't. This is made out of a really, really nice and actually quite soft suede. It's really, really nice. It doesn't feel stiff and, and solid. I have had other pairs of Ultra Boost in the past with a sort of more leather style cage or sort of a material cage, but this feels really, really premium. Moving back into the rest of the shoe, it's not a prime knit round that heel. It's very much similar to the Ultra Boost 1.0s where they didn't have a prime knit material heel area, uh, but it is exceptionally padded. They always were very, very well padded round the heel and with this spoiler type heel pull area. It really is the most comfortable shoe when we're talking about Ultra Boost 1.0s, 2.0s and 3.0s and going into the Ultra 4Ds. This overall sort of upper has been very, very comfortable to wear for uh, as long as I've worn them. Now, obviously, we're going into the sole area where the 4D is a little bit more structured. It's a lot more solid than Ultra Boost but it does support your feet a lot better than Ultra Boost in that regard. Now, I wouldn't personally run in 4D. I did try for a couple of attempts to run in 4D, and over time I felt that they were a bit heavy and they really didn't do what I wanted them to do, which was give me that extreme compression that made me have that real energy return, that spring back. Maybe if you're a casual runner and you're only doing short distances, they'll be fine. But anything longer than a 10K run, I just wouldn't recommend it at all. Maybe in the future, Adidas will finally allow that customization in 4D so it can be for an individual. That would be amazing. I've been waiting for that a long time, so please hurry up, Adidas. It's way, way overdue. Plus, let's see a bit more color uh, on these 4Ds. I really, really liked the look of the NASA pair that recently dropped that had a gray 4D midsole and it actually also was 3M reflective, which is pretty incredible. Tried to get my hands on those, maybe in the future definitely try my best. Moving on. So the one really amazing element of this shoe that really drew me to it was the gum sole. It's really, really nice. It's the same kind of sole, non-continental as far as I'm aware, 
as per on other Ultra 4Ds and the more recent 4D pairs such as these. Yeah, these are the Parlay Ultra 4Ds I was talking about earlier on in the video. Um, and yes, they have that same kind of undersole. It's kind of a little bit kind of waffly, but uh, looks like it's got plenty of tread, but will it really last the test of the time compared to Continental? This is the last piece of this collaborative shoes puzzle, and it is the insoles. Do you recognize this lady? Have you seen her before? It's really, really cool that they've got the Mona Lisa on the insole, it's incredible. I think that was something that really drew me to this shoe when I first saw it online. I was like, what? That's just nuts. Now on the left pair, you've got the social status branding, uh, mainly on the heel area. And then behind it, you've got social status and Adidas performance branding. And then on the other shoe, as you would expect, and it's kind of flip-flopping the, uh, the, the different logos that are on the tongue. On this side, you've got the Mona Lisa again, but this time with the Adidas performance branding and the other branding behind it on her face. Yes, unfortunately, poor Mona Lisa in this one has no eyes or any facial features whatsoever. Let's sum it up. This shoe is by far one of the best Ultra 4Ds to drop to date color-wise. Um, I do miss the collaboration hole punch. That is something that I will always miss about collaboration Adidas shoes, particularly when they used to do them on the Ultra Boosts. And um, the last pair of 4Ds that I got uh, that were the mid 4Ds, they had the hole punch and I love that. But there was one negative about it and that it did sometimes with a lot of wear used to fray and the fabric that would be held on with that hole punch could fray away. So it's not the end of the world. And I do like the stamp on the tongue area to show how limited the shoe really is. Right, that's enough waffling. I think it's time to see these on feet. review of the social status Adidas Ultra 4D. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Ty Kicks YouTube channel. If you'd like any particular shoes, reviewing or anything else for that matter, then just write a little comment down in that section below and I'll respond to as many people as I possibly can. With that being said, stay safe, enjoy your Christmas and I'll see you for another video really soon.